All right, welcome back guys. So we're gonna make us some French press coffee. I just kicked up the fellow kettle, which um, this is the electric kettle, and we've done a review on that, part of our coffee tech series. It's warming up my water, and we've got our French press here, also from fellow, uh, ready to go. And what I've done is ground some beans in my burr grinder, and I set it to a more coarse grind and measured out what I wanted and put it in my French press. So I also have measured out my water, um, what I'm going to need ratio of coffee grounds to water. And we're just going to wait for the uh, temperature to hit what uh, I'm looking for here for a French press. Generally for a French press, don't boil your water. Okay, that's, nah, don't do that. French presses usually do best around two, 200 to 210. I, I, then that's pushing it. So as our water gets hot, let's go over another coffee item. If you're not a trade coffee subscriber, now they do not sponsor this video, but I do have an affiliate link in the show notes. This is probably the best program as a coffee person that I've ever come across. And I'm set up to get two bags of beans for the flavor or the roast that I like the most. You can go in, you rate your coffees, and they, they really fine tune the beans they send you from roasters all across the United States. So you don't have to go get you know, trips or go to their websites and order it. It's all through Trade Coffee and it's to your liking. I found that I am more of a medium roast person. I don't get too much into the dark. I can do lights, but I'm, I'm kind of in the middle. And that's generally what I get anymore. And every two weeks, I have a bag delivered to me. This happens to be uh, Anodyne Coffee Roasting. And I don't know, let's see, they're based out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So uh, check the show notes for a referral link to Trade Copy will not be disappointed, I guarantee it. As a coffee lover, I love getting different um, beans from different roasters that I've never ever tried across the United States. There's some great ones out there, and this is a great way to discover them. And then you can go to their website, and then you can you know write it on your, your Trade Copy and just go from there. So very, very cool stuff. Just wanted to bring that up. So. We're at 166 degrees, so I'm gonna pause this video until we get to the temperature that I set at 205, and then we are going to just pour in the water. Again, this isn't like a pour over or anything like that. We're just gonna pour the water in, and we're gonna let it sit. So there's gonna be some pauses here and there as we produce this French press coffee. So I'm gonna pause the video, hit the temperature, pour the water in, we'll be right back. All right guys, welcome back. We've hit that temperature, so let's go ahead and pour in our hot water. And we're just gonna pour it in no particular way. Oops, don't wanna over pour here and spill it. So, we're producing our French press coffee. And again, we're just gonna pour in the water that I've measured out to the coffee ground ratio. This French press holds quite a bit of water, so um, they're usually a little more narrower. This one's fairly wide, um, so what we're going to do is take advantage of that. And then we're going to put this lid on it, but we're not going to press it. We're just going to let this sit and brew. Okay, basically, good, good rule of thumb, about five minutes. So I'm going to pause this video, we're going to come back, we're going to do the press, we're going to let it sit for five minutes and just sit here and steep and brew. We'll be right back. All right, guys, welcome back. So we've been about four minutes in, but one thing I like to do in the last minute is go do a little stir and agitation. So let's go ahead and we'll use this wooden paddle that comes with our French press here. And we're going to stir the grounds and agitate them for the last minute. Put that back on there, and then we'll wait this last minute out and come back and do the press. 
All right, guys. We have been waiting five minutes. We had the stir or agitation. Let's go ahead and press. So you just slowly apply pressure to the French press, or so just pressing it down ever so slowly. And what this doing is just filtering all the grounds to the bottom, leaving us drinkable and probably some of the best tasting coffee that you've ever had at the top of it. One other nice thing about this French press is it kind of has a little filter up here so when you're pouring it any sediment should be even filtered out again. And we're pouring us some French press coffee. And I highly recommend if you have not tried French press coffee this is one of the best ways to make coffee. Sometimes it's considered one of the messiest, but truthfully, this is an easy cleanup. This this French press here, not gonna be tough at all. So let's sample. Oh man, the aroma is amazing. Got a nice cup of coffee. Let's do a sample test. Hmm. Hot, but so good. There you go, folks. Now, if you're wondering how bad this looks to clean up, I'll go ahead and come back and do a cleanup video. I usually don't do that because it's just kind of gross with the grounds and all, but I just do want to demonstrate how easy it is to clean this bad boy up. So, I'm going to come back, I'm going to consume this coffee, um, and uh, this is actually a lunch hour on a work day, and I needed a good good pick me up cup of joe for the rest of the afternoon so that's why I went ahead and did the coffee brewing on my lunch hour so we'll be back guys after I've uh, com consumed this and I may be talking a lot faster um, so be prepared uh, if I come back and I, I'm, I'm like on 10 red bulls because yes needed the pick me up we'll be right back to go over cleanup alright guys welcome back so I've enjoyed this coffee uh, hopefully I'm not talking fast enough. And no, I'm just kidding. Um, so let's go ahead and just do a quick clean. So basically all you're going to do is you're going to pull out the press. And then you got a little bit of clean up here. So you can just tap it. Now what I like to do is put it in these grocery bags. And I double bag them because I've learned from experience. And then what this does is it dries. And you can use it. In compost or throw it in your soil or whatever so that's pretty easy and what we're doing is going to rinse that off in the sink and that'll be done and now we have some grounds in here not much coffee so we're just going to take the grounds and we're going to do that might use our wooden paddle here just to scoop them out a little bit not too much left in the, the French press, so pretty easy. And we're just going to let those dry and compost them. And then pretty much all we do is rinse. And the, what little bits left in here won't really go down the drain very badly or anything and put it in the garbage disposal side. So that's as easy as it is. I'll just rinse it and we'll be done and ready for the next one. And again, just keeping these grounds in this baggie to dry up. I can throw it outside, it'll really help it dry because uh, it's super hot out right now. And we have now cleaned up after our French press. And that's not too terrible. Like I said, I just need to rinse it. So, there you go, fellow product. A little mess here, but again, nice rinse, take care of that. And uh, check the show notes for a link. I'll even put the kettle in there if you're interested in the kettle, and I'll uh, put a card up here so you can actually go back and uh, watch the video review of their uh, electric kettle, which is uh, amazing. Um, definitely one of the nicest kettles, especially for pour-overs. If you like that style, we actually do a pour-over in that video um, with this kettle. So uh, check that out if you're so inclined. And I'm going to be finishing up my last cup of coffee here of my French press. Hope you liked this video, guys. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. 
and take that little notification bell so you'll get notified of new video content. We're all over the place these days. We're doing copy, we're doing stylish videos, we're doing tech, and we're doing all that good stuff. So hopefully uh, you're enjoying and uh, we are going to be dialing a little more into the tech stuff here so stay tuned for that. We've got some really cool technology videos planned in the future. So. Um, hopefully you're liking this. We're kind of doing a little lifestyle uh, product videos on top of some tech videos. So hopefully you're enjoying. Again, thanks for watching. Have a good one.